education at the Menshikova school. In any case, any path, if it has started, can be conditionally considered the right one, because the wrong path is called that which no one walks. The path you walk is always the right one. Where it will take you is another question. Let us deconstruct your question and answer it step by step, because this is a global question and it is very important for everyone. Sooner or later, a person asks the question, why am I here? What is the purpose of my existence? Is my life some sort of a joke of the Creator? And you need to earnestly look for the answers, as earnestly as you ask yourself these questions. You do it by trial and error. You tried over here, read something over there, got interested in this, and the more you discover, the more you read and show interest, the more you are seeing the picture come together. And it is a different matter that this picture is not yet complete. It is as if you had a bunch of puzzle pieces. Seemingly you have all of them, but it is unclear how they all fit together and what template to use. And the template here is very important. The methodology of our school goes from simple to complex and from major to minor, which is very important. We start with the I am state, thereby getting in touch with our own essence. At the beginning, you gain understanding that you are nevertheless a person, an individuality to any extent, whether it is manifested or not. And you must amplify your own manifestation, your reflection, and your traces here in the world of first attention while doing it more earnestly and massively. The question is how and what methods to use in order to achieve this. This question can only be answered after fully revealing one's inner deepest needs. These are very ephemeral words, but we try to put them into a more concrete form in our classes. So we can move from the numinous state of our own insignificance, or, on the contrary, from the excess of our arrogance, and come to a more common, practical applications. In order for a consciousness to begin developing fluently and evenly towards stability in any form, be it in a social, magical, or psychological direction, it must happen according to a certain system. Even if we develop our abilities by going against the system and allowing for some elements of chaos to enter the said system, this direction must always follow a certain systematic approach. It doesn't matter what you are trying to achieve, the most effective actions would be the ones that are systematic, when you are aware what steps need to be made and in what order you should take them. And this sort of path can be pursued only if following someone who already created a system. Because creating your own personal system would take time, which is why there are schools. Magical, psychological, social, you name it. In any case, a school always implies a system, whether elementary school or any magic school or a magic order. We do not take into account religious cults in any shape or form as they do not imply a formation of ideas, for they are the carriers of an idea of enslavement, be it that of one's will, resources, knowledge, what have you. A school carries the idea of education, so it requires a systematic approach. When you collect the main puzzles of your picture, the inevitable question you will face is, what is next? What should I do with this picture? Should I hang it on the wall, put it under my pillow? Should I take it apart and put it back together? And that is where you don't need the school any longer. Because this path becomes exclusively individual. We just help you put this picture together. According to a certain algorithm for now, so you would understand that this picture is coherent and that your consciousness is not a collection of scattered pieces of existence, but rather it's a certain picture of reality, a picture of a universe. In any case, it is a complete picture. But how it must be applied is only for you to decide. No one has the right to advise you here. During the process of putting this picture together, during self-development, you will get the understanding 
why it was all needed in the first place. You will get an understanding or recollection that you already knew this once before. The reasons that you came here, with what sort of purpose, whether you came here to do something or not do something. Question, how do you interpret this understanding correctly? This is the exact thing that we learn, because the method of decoding perceived information is individual at any stage of development of consciousness. One cannot approach it with one single measuring standard. For example, you won't be able to decode signals, impulses and information that come from your causal body with the measure standards of your etheric body sensations. These are two different languages. For instance, right now we're speaking in Russian. But in order to understand the causal body, you have to be fluent in Latin. Therefore, first we master the Latin language and then learn to decode the message. At every stage, you will obtain the skills to decode signals that you receive from your inner world. Then we tie it together with the signals of the surrounding world, thereby learning to interpret reality.